do you want to switch over to some of that wheel warlock or maybe demon hunter it's up to you you can pick one tell me with uh which class to play because you have better insight in it. Well, both of them are included in the new top 5, so they must be good. I don't have any experience with a demon hunter. Well, if you're interested into it, you did uh, say that you might want to try it as well. Uh, we could look into it as well. If you prefer, we could stick with Wheel Warlock. It's something you've played, so yeah, the choice is yours. I'm open for both of them. Okay, so uh, sending you the... Somewhere. Uh, did you uh, pick up the Warlock I actually uh, posted yeah. in the new top 5? Yeah, I, ha I had it already. You are not prepared. We had a pretty nice hand, but this guy went all in on us. Hey, there's those warriors we were hoping about. That's gonna be fun. Okay. What are you thinking here? I'm keeping the Forge and the Dark Alley Pets. I guess the word it's not that amazing, but it's still uh, something to do in the first few turns. It's all about getting the Wheel of Death uh, kind of deal here. Uh, but we still need to keep the tempo going so we don't get uh, totally overwhelmed on the board or something like that. We don't need mm -hmm. to keep the weapon though, it's not something we're really going to be uh, caring for against this guy. So yeah, let's just keep the other two. Oh, there it is. And there's the wheel. And there's zero counterplay to it too, because they can't even dirty rat it or anything. That's all. Hero power noises. Yep. Mm Definitely would like that thing to go out, but I'm not sure we're gonna go out of our way. Problem is, Blade Storm is a card. I think I'm okay with Mortal Eradication here. You don't want him to have the card draw. Yeah, let's just waste the free mana eradication. Sometimes we use cards differently. Not the best of boards to eradicate on, but it deals with his card draw, so why not? Okay, he's actually Odin Warrior. Of that much we know. We can actually kill this. I mean, we have two ways of killing it. One's obviously the table flip, but I wonder if the Defile play is better. With the help of the Elemental Geode. I think I like it well enough. Let's do it like that. Elemental Geode into the file. Draws you a couple of cards while dealing with this, and it also leaves you with a big table flip opportunity later. It's also better to be using this the file before a Acolyte of Pain drops on the boards. Yes, this guy sure. should be running it with his Odin, so... Is he also running Brawl? Mm, he could. Probably. But uh, on the things what we're uh, trying to do against this guy in the early turns, uh, Bladestorm is going to be the real problem. What do you want to do here? Play a location and tap? Well, just to be on the correct side of things, we hero power first to get the extra information. Yeah. You could top deck another location, that would be a far better play. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hero power first. And sure, play the location still. Drawing the symphony would be nice. It would be an okay thing to have, but we don't really need it to win against this guy. You can also just use your uh, Felstring Harp for after the fatigue damage starts a little bit uh, higher. But um, mm. it's probably not gonna come down to that for us. Okay, what do you do? Uh, tap first? Yeah, let's start with a tap. This guy's burning the top deck. 
wonder what that means. <sighs> I think we are playing the Dark Ally pack, but I'm not sure we want to be using the location, because uh, Blade Storm is yeah. pretty easy yeah. for him here. Yeah, I think you just play a Dark Ally pack and pass. Or, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Shield Slam cleans this effectively, so, well, there's the Blade Storm, so we actually were happy to not use the location, but I think if we had a few more seconds, I would have... Uh, Gone with the location play instead. Okay, well, this is kind of cool because now you can actually play a different health minion as well. So let's play the Dark Ally Pact. Play the two man elemental geode on the right side. Yeah. Uh, actually, use yeah. the location on the 9 9 first. And put the location in between them, uh, the geode in between them. And equip the weapon, because if you don't and this thing dies, we will be overdrawn and we're not in that business right now. That's about it. We could have also done that before the Geode damage does, but it's actually kind of fine for us. We'd rather be taking the damage right now, because we can heal back to full easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a bummer. That's a full clear again. There's your Symphony, though, so we're happy. Uh, we could have considered not using the location there, actually, because right now we have the opportunity to play Wheel and Fan of Them. Uh, this Loken is kind of useless at this point. It's literally just a 6-mana free, free free. You have no minions left in the deck. Yeah. So uh, we just played a Wheel of Death here, and should we just pass? No, I think you also play Fan of Them, because if you don't, he's just going to willy-nilly coin out his... Uh, Odin, if he has it, then he definitely has a big chance of having it. So play Fan of them on the left. That's about it. Yeah, we're losing the opportunity potentially to use location on it, but it's kind of not a big deal because uh, we have Sir Garrison there to give you a bunch of taunts, and we're gonna get a 612 still. Okay, he still plays the Odin, doesn't give a fuck. Cool. We'll have to see it then. Here, I think it's definitely time for us to play the 9 mana Sir Garrus still and use him for the taunts, because that's the way you're gonna really make it a problem for him to actually connect with your face. We still use the location on the 15-15 though. And the uh, rush 15 kills the 8, the charge 15 goes face. That's all. And we are lucky that he burns his Reno. We're decently happy indeed. Okay, that's a good amount of damage. But he probably cannot do that much more times. Okay, we're healing nicely. It's time for us to crack open the Symphony of Sins. A well, 6-6 six, six taunt sounds good to me. Those are just garbage anyway. And uh, should we hero power, maybe get a plus 6 or something like that? Might as well. Heals you back to 23. Oh damn, Roki's in the house. How are you doing, Roki? Well, that was the dumbest uh, top deck you could have gone. I wonder if reverb is worth on this 3-3. Free free. No, right? Let's just play the free mana furnace fuel down so you can grab some of the good movements. Thank you very much for the 20 gifted subs, Roki. How are you doing? That's actually not 20, man. What the fuck did you do? 50! You gifted 50 tier 1 subs, man. You crazy madman, you. Thank you very much, my guy. Far too kind. Far, far too kind. 50 straight off the bat. Jesus, I was wondering where you went. <laughs> How's it going? Hope you hope they didn't work you too hard. Welcome, welcome. Okay, this guy is trying, but he ain't trying enough. 
Well, this plus six plus six definitely sounds good to me. Yeah, that one. We can also use the six life steal, so we're very far out of range of his lethal outs. Should we remove the top six cards for him? I mean, Reno is out of the equation already. Yeah, remove his top six cards, why not? And go face. Okay, that's some good amount of armor he was gonna draw. That snapshot was also hella important, but at this point nothing matters because he was never killing us in the next turn. Thank you very, very much, Roki. Welcome back. Been traveling for some mergers again. Damn, you damn, uh, dude, you're doing some... Some... A lot of business moves. <laughs> okay, this guy wants to get some fatigue damage to go with it. Yeah, let's get all of them. Thanks for the gifted subs in the chat. Roki outdid himself this time. Thank you very much, man. He can just pass and he dead. Okay. They said it can't be done. Not many people have seen this animation. Everybody just concedes. This guy wanted to witness it. Let's keep at it. More warriors, please. Dark Ally pack definitely makes a lot of sense. Mm, I wonder if the Symphony makes enough sense here. Like, if this guy turns out to be a Dragon Druid, Symphony has sin 6 damage AoE might be what we need. So I think those are the only two things we keep here. The others are a little bit on the mediocre side. Keep the Dark Ally packs and the Symphony. I think so, yeah. That was the other two. Okay. Most druids we encounter are uh, hero power druids lately. But I, uh, sometimes I uh, also encountered uh, still a dragon druid. Uh, what did you say? I missed the entire thing you just said. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I encounter a dragon druid, but mostly it are... Um, Hero power towards. Seems like it's dragon this time, however. Mm. Okay. Now, you made a good choice. I think this time we actually equipped the weapon because uh, we're taking free damage next turn. We're also planning on tapping next turn, so uh, might as well do it. Don't want to get overwhelmed by his damage, and he's already off to the face races. Okay, that's a little bit slow. But yeah, good thing we kept that Symphony. That's a nice tab deck as well for later. Let's just tap for now. If you don't get location in your next draw, we can just play a Furnace Fuel next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, stacking it nice and slow, just the way we like it. Yeah, I think it's just a free mana Furnace here. That's a boot it. Next turn we're getting a 9-9, that's nice. We do run endgame in here, and you have fracking to find it with, so that can help a bunch. Oof, that's a lot of card draw, and we're not gonna be able to do much about it just yet. I mean, technically we can, but it's gonna cost us a lot, so we're not... Yeah, let's just 4 mana Dark Ally Pact. If we really wanted to kill this board, you could have uh, reverberationed his 4-5 and coin out a Defile, but it's really not worth all of those resources, and it also makes mm. our Dark Ally Pact not so dark. That's about it. <laughs> Damn, the, the raid, the, the subscriber rating is still going. What the fuck is this rating I speak of, though? Okay... What do you think we do here? Um, well, we can do what you said. The reverb and the defile. I still believe it's too much 
resources spent on these boards. It's not the worst thing we could be doing, but maybe coining out Loken into a 15-15 could be uh, the way to go. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed we're going to see Loken, Sir Garrus, and... Uh, I mean, Phanatom, Sir Garrus, and the 2-1. So yeah, let's coin out uh, Loken here and go for a 15-15. Mm-hmm, that's about it. Alright. Still there that um, the the Phanotum not uh, that it isn't a demon. He's I not, mean, but you still have a 9-9 demon in your endgame, so it's not a bad play still. No, but it's, it's weird that it's not a demon. It's a phantom. Yeah. Apparently yes. those are different. <laughs> yes, apparently. Yeah. I don't like them both. Yeah. And the tentacle is also not a demon. I mean, no. could have fooled me. That was a quick pick. It was. I think he actually misclicked. <laughs> hmm. It was a misclick. He fucking didn't even use it. Oh no, he did it so he actually uh, doesn't overdraw with that thing. Makes some sense. Okay, hmm. he's allowing us to slap him this with this thing. Let's think about it then. I think it's time we check uh the symphony. Um no, I was thinking about the fracking actually. The, fracking. the symphony is also something to consider, but maybe after the fracking. Let's see the fracking. If you find a location that would be a better play. There it is. Um uh, yeah, play the location in between them. I have too many cards as it is. Use it on the fifteen. It was actually smarter to play the location on the right side, I think. Mm. Either way, it doesn't okay. matter. The 15 has to kill the Ziliax, obviously. The Rusher. And uh, the free free attacks into the 5-4. Go face with the 15 and play the 2-mana Defile. Is there actually a way to make this without actually using the 15 to rush? No, there wasn't. I don't think there was. They were going to be too healthy there. Best you can do right now is a Dragon Golem board. We have a potential lethal out with the Symphony. There they are. We could also try our luck with Mortal Eradication plus Second Defile. But, um... Uh, it's probably best to go with the Symphony, I think. Yeah, let's try, try the Symphony. 6 damage AoE is the lethal out. It's bright red, and we're not seeing it. Let's summon a 6-6 six, six taunt in that case. If we're not killing him, neither is he. And you can also play the 2 mana endgame, gives you a 9-9 nine, nine taunt. And kill a couple of those idiots. That's a lot of thank yous in the chat. Thanks again, Roki. Far, far too kind. Really appreciate you. Do you think he is uh, running Reno? Mm, no, they cannot run Reno in this deck. Simply too many two offs and they don't draw nearly as fast for a Reno. Mm. 
Okay, we can actually draw a good amount here. Can we actually pull off a defile somehow? Surely we can. Surely we can. All we need is a free health minion and that's gonna happen if uh, you use a mortal eradication. So play a free mana mortal eradication. Wow. That was dumb. Hold up then. That was dumb as hell. Uh, so are you fucking kidding me? Oh, uh, play a two-man elemental geode. Use location on it. On the 2-1. Rush a 3-4 with it. A 3-4 with it. Rush it with the 2-1. With a 2-1 rusher from location. A 3-4. Yes, Kill a 6-6 yes. si six, six into a 3-4. Play the file. Play the file and go face with, it, with the big minions quickly. Go face. Go face. There. Did he manage? Oh my goodness, we actually killed the small ones too. Didn't realize that's happening. Fuck. But uh, still, that was <laughs> that was a little bit clutch. I, it was close. <laughs> it was, it was. Took you a little bit longer to figure out that the 2 1 can rush into yeah. a 3 4 it's so we can actually get a 2 really health well. minion. I mean, against these guys, the Dark Ally Pacts are not the most amazing thing in the world. Maybe it's just the fracking, but we're not going to be playing it super early because uh, you could actually counterplay their Helia, their Plagues. With the fret, you can actually destroy some of those. Yeah, that was the luckiest warrior on the planet right there. Yeah, let's just keep the fracking, toss the rest. Would have been nice if I removed this wheel, but it is what it is. Okay. Amazing top deck. These guys are known to be running uh, dirty rats here and there, so he could get pretty unlucky there. Let's yeah. just pass for now. Okay, play he is. He must be very happy with himself. That's not a bad geode. Let's do that then. Okay. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Hmm, you might want to read the whole text, Shinobi. For Reno to work, you only have to have a single copy of each card in your deck. Maybe that's your problem there. For the Rush Wind Fury, what card are you referring to there? Because I'm not sure what the problem will be there. Let's just play the free mana fracking here. Sounds about right. The fracking? Uh, free mana furnace fuel is what I meant. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if this 3-2 sticks uh, for a while, we might even reverb that so that you can shuffle some plagues back into him, but probably not, probably not. Yeah, no problem, Shinobi. Yeah, Highlander cards require you to run only a single of each card in your deck. Yeah, this guy's uh, having a hell of a good time so far. A lot like the last warrior, huh? We are taking substantial amounts of damage here. Yes, we do. Let's check the fracking. Hopefully you find some... Uh, plagues. There's one, but we're not picking it, obviously. We're picking the file, and you're removing the unholy plague that way. And uh, I think you just put down the... Location, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, this has this guy has card for card the absolute best hand he could ask for when playing Plague Decay. Not even kidding. 
Turn 1 Weapon, Turn 2 Claudia, Turn 3 Hell yeah, name a more iconic duo. Well, if we really want to be clearing this board, you gotta use reverb on the 404 into the file. Nothing else clears it easily. So many thoughts. Reading ill. We really need to equip the weapon quick because uh, that's also going to counterplay the top deck locations, uh, plagues, I mean. Yeah. And yeah, we're in desperate need of a little bit of life. My blood for the but uh, next turn does look to be like a pretty good Loken. Hmm. Yeah, I think we go with the Loken, it's just too good to pass by, it gives you a 612 on the board with a rush 612, so I think you go with it. The whispers. I can't resist. Mm -hmm. Use location and kill the 3-4. Plague weapon, obviously. Obviously. Okay. Doesn't kill it. Nice order, by the way. Why not swing first, dumbass? Okay. Um... He didn't have a way to deal with these fat fucks last turn, so he probably doesn't have a way to deal with them this turn. Let's play the 4 mana Dark Ally Pact. So Equip the weapon. And you can drain Soul the 2 free and go face with everything else. Looks good yep. to me. Despite this guy having a perfect hand so far, we are actually winning right now. Is someone there? So I'm digging. Right now, top decking plagues actually heals us, so we're into that shit. And he's also dead on board, for anybody keeping track. Was dead on board, he had to get lucky with that. Hopefully he doesn't have a second one. That would be a little bit too much. Uh, sad. Okay, the end game witnessed that at least, so we do have a dead fat demon in there. That's a little bit of healing. Um, we can also play end game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. We could play both the end games actually. Um, let's check the one mana fracking first. Wow, what a hard choice. Let's grab the Defile. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kraken Endgame. We're pretty sure it's uh, gonna be giving us the big guys, right? Yeah, there you go. Play another Endgame. Now the question is, do we want a Mortal Eradication or is just the tap enough? I mean, the tap is kind of the same thing, but uh, no, no. Let's use the free mana Mortal Eradication, I think. And use the location on the 6-9 actually. And go face with it. We did it on the 6-9 so that... Uh, I mean these are healthier. So they can actually withstand the potential giant again. The giant has 8. He's looking for the 4 mana free 3 minions through corpses kind of deal. Doesn't seem like he found it. G fucking G, my guy. Imagine losing with a hand like that, dude. Imagine <laughs> it for a second, chat. I mean, if if you lose after you play all of those three cards as soon as turn three, I don't think uh, how you can justify keep on playing that pile of shit. <laughs> fucking hell, man. 
Seriously, there was something else. Oh, it are some games, some games today. They, they are. The game is really desperately trying to stall us a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I uh, know all about it because it always happens to me. I like the geode and the fracking. How much do we like the other two, though? They're not bad if this guy turns out to be dragon druids. Hmm. I don't know. Surely we're gonna find more removal with this card draw hand we have already. Yeah, I think you dropped the defile and table flip. I think we're just gonna straight up draw into him anyway, so no need to clutter up our hand with basically all the removal in the world we have already. I think we're gonna wait a little with the fracking. In the end of the day, we don't know exactly what we're playing against, so uh, can't really make a very good educated guess. So for now, I think you pass. Could be a turn five fracking, honestly. And that line of thinking, maybe we should not have kept it, but technically he could have showed us what he is even on turn one, so I still stand behind holding on to it. And he's a dragon druid. Yep. Okay, that's a cool symphony. Could give you six damage AoE if he tries to zerg us with the free fours or even bigger. But for now, we go with the element geodes. It's actually Elementium Geode. I was today years old when I learned that. Elementium. Elementium the Elemental. Uh, he got there randomly. Still could be Highlander for all we know. Yeah, perhaps. We're going with the location on the right side. You can even not attack because this guy's basically full health anyway with that lifesteal on the board, so just pass. <laughs> Yeah. Got to coin that out. He has six mana. Uh, golems right now. Sadly, we're not getting any of them Dark Ally packs, huh? Yes. Hmm. Let's check the one mana fracking. What is taking so long? <sighs> is this a game where it's gonna come down to the wheel, guys? I don't think it is. I don't think it's that kind of game. Am I crazy to be picking Mortal Eradication here, guys? Seriously. I'm fine with it. Grab the Mortal Eradication. Should we even use it? Yeah, use it. I don't think it's gonna come down to that. I think we're just gonna make some fat men. Okay, that's even more dragon golems lined up. <clears throat> Let's hero power. Where are the goddamn dark hell I packs? God damn it. We know for a fact Dragon Golems are on the way. That much has been said. What is taking so long? I must 
Drains all the four five. Sorry? Drain soul the four five. Two mana drain soul the four five. It's your second card. That's about it. What the fuck? Is this guy Highlander, guys? I Shit. wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he played two Summerflower Child, so he shouldn't be. Yeah. But a lot of people play with, uh, like we, with uh, doubles. And mm. still uh, being Reno. He's considering not playing the Dragon Golems here. He's still gonna. Come on, do it, you pussy. There you go. Okay. Yeah, now you come, you piece of shit. So, um... Reverb and default? What'd you say? Oh, no, that's not working. Sorry. I think you go with the free mana mortal eradication. And we're hoping it lands yeah, adequately. That, yeah. The last time. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, that sounds like it fucked us up, but we can still play a two mana geode and coin the file after it. So play a two mana geode, coin the file. about it. Problem is he's fucking doing it again and now we're gonna be at the mercy of the symphony. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't do it. Fascinating behavior. But he's not Highlander, dumbass. Emo oops, he needs to know. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, man. Um... Let's hero power. Dark ally pact. Four mana dark. Oh my goodness, I, I didn't even see the, the first one. I was like, what the hell did you play? Um, yeah, use location on it. The question is, what else are we doing here? Should we use the weapon? Might as well. Yeah, equip the weapon as well. Rush down the 8-8. Probably gonna go for another batch of Geo, uh, Golems that is. That was definitely very refreshing playing an 8 mana. 8-8 eight, eight, do nothing like that. It was definitely the turn we needed. There he goes. Okay, let's think about it. Even if this 6 mana Symphony does not give you... 6 damage AoE, we're still able to use the second location. So let's try like that. Play the 5 mana Symphony, looking for 6 damage AoE. Sometimes lucky, pick the 6 damage AoE. And uh, put down another location and get yourself a 9 6. Ain't nothing wrong. A 9. Wait, wait. It's only a 9-3. That's a little bit slim. Let's just play the free mana furnace fuel then. Try to get uh, our Reno active and whatnot. Dodged it, but go face and pass. We're looking good. I dream. <clears throat> okay, Reno is active. Do we care about it? I don't think we care about it right now. I think we can just go uh, Dark Ally Pact. Four mana Dark Ally Pact. Four mana. I'm not getting any younger. Two mana Endgame. 
And another free mana location in between the taunts. And use both the locations. Kill the lifesteal like that, but do we even attack into Isera? They're gonna be left at 5, so um, no, don't attack into Isera. The reason behind that is Isera could have given him 5 damage AoE to characters except Isera. So we'd rather not be doing that. And he fucking got it. Haha! <laughs> Shut up, play it around it. We did. Fuck. Good thing is we have Reno, that thing is he cleared the boards. This guy also has Reno. That would be a bummer. Let's think about it. Is that what we do? Let's hero power first and then use Reno. Yeah, do it. How's it going, Pokemon? Pokemon? I don't know. Pokey, close enough. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Roki outdid himself again. The man, the myth, the Roki. Coaching is legal, always has been. Always has been, fam. What is he doing there? Is he thinking about giving it plus four? Did the game bug? Do you see a card in the middle of the game right now? Yes. yes. Oh shit. Uh, play the six mana Loki and quick and let's see if the game is absolutely bugged out. Grab your uh, Fan Outem. Okay, it returned. Yeah, grab the Fan Outem. Play him. I mean, use the location on it. Uh, technically speaking, we should have discovered a spell first if we're uh, sticklers to correct gaming. But uh, let's think about it. Are we even using it? We have a nice movement. It's kind of cool, but I would rather do it on a turn where we actually can go face with the thing. Because okay. we could get renoed. Use the two mana on his face. Two mana hero power, I mean, on his face. Discover two demons, the free mana. 15 kills the 7 6. Equip another weapon. Equip a weapon so we don't burn the top deck, that's all. Okay. Please don't read me, dude. Can still do it. Doesn't. He can steal our 15-8 and actually kill the 15. He forces them. I mean, that's also a guaranteed pierce, I guess. Ugh. Fucking wretched queen, man. That was kind of weird. Okay, this is gonna be funny. Let's use the free mana reverberations on the 7-5 Yogg. And use Yogg to steal the 9-9. No, actually, wait, wait. Use Yogg to steal his Yogg. And if it's still alive, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's kinda dumb. <laughs> Use his Yogg to steal the 9-9. And use the one mana table flip. Uh, 
Uh, hero power his face. And uh, play the far right movement. Yeah, summon a, summon a taunt. That was a dumb turn now, wasn't it? That's enough. <laughs> That's enough out of us. Yeah, these turns are starting to get a little bit too clutchy, guys. It's it's really hard to actually uh, figure out the whole thing and actually discuss it anymore. It's I think we're beyond that in this game, at least. Especially since we lost our main win condition. We were expecting this to be a straight-up dragon golem, but it's actually some Highlander nonsense at this. Indeed, enough of that tomfoolery. Right now, we're barely getting into plays, let alone discuss them. But you guys are still seeing all of the things we're actually bullshitting with in order to give our, ourselves the edge. Yeah, this guy's running on fumes at this point. Yeah, this looks like a game to me. Okay. Use the two mana table flip. Yes. Two mana drain soul the four twelve uh, the four two. Use the three mana plus six plus six movement. The other one the move yeah that one. And also the free mana lifesteal movement, deal 6 damage to his face, and that's a fucking GG. God damn this game, man. Sheesh! Was this for the diamond? Not because yet. Because it fucking felt like it. What? Not yet. Fuck. <laughs> we had to definitely butt clench a lot on this one, but I guess playing that uh, wheel early, I mean discarding the wheel was not a very bright idea, huh? Okay, let's do one more. How many stars we have? Uh, we have two stars and I think a win streak. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try and do that thing. Did we win the last game? What was the last game? The Death Knight that played the Hellion Curve. We're definitely trying our best this right now, guys. Like, the la these last couple of games were something else. Another warrior. This time for real game, none of that bullshit. That's a full toss. Okay, that's something. Not a wheel, but something. Nope, no wheel. <clears throat> the fastest way to draw a wheel is to have your hand full, guys. Hard pass. Hero power. Going first, it's a lot easier to hero pair into a furnace fuel even if you don't play a one drop. Um, question is, do we furnace or do we location, honestly? Because we do have a decent dark ally pack potential here. And I think I kind of like the location a bit better here. Yep, yeah, okay. drop the location. If he plays something like a gold banner off the top or uh, if he's actually Odin and plays a 1-4, that's also actually kind of fine. Now we can play the Dark Ally Pact and use Location and actually have a couple of different health minions on the board, so not a straight up Blade Storm. The downside is he can still coin out Forge and deal the 5 damage twice. That would be a full clear still, but if he spends the coin like that, we're also okay with it. Oh, he got lucky with the discount there. That's gonna leave him with a 5-5, five five, I think. Yep. So be it. Oh, there's the wheel though. There is well, it. Let's have the game one. What do you want to do here? Yep. Or mortal eradication. Or even the fairness fuel. All of those are options indeed. I think all we have to do is not lose the tempo too much here, so... Uh, I think you can go with the 3 mana Mortal Eradications, and you can even play the 2 mana Endgame, because it has a 6-6 six -six in it. But uh, maybe it's actually a better idea we hold off with the Endgame, because uh, next turn your location is going to be ready again, so might as well maybe give us an opportunity to actually use it like that. So let's just Hero Power. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. That's gonna be a free six sixes next turn. Hmm. Blade Storm is still a bitch. That's our last reverb. We could use his six five to kill his six five. Technically speaking. We but, also um, put a reaver up in the deck. Oh, we still do have one more. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know though. I think it's still probably better to drop another location plus end game here. And that's also gonna allow us to actually have an active. Uh, uh, use the. Use the two charge location on the six six. And don't use the other one. Just charge the 6-5. We don't want to get completely obliterated by a Blaze Storm, I think. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Uh, but yeah, using the location this turn allows us to have a turn 8 Wheel of Death, Fanotem plus location kind of play, so we're not just gonna be dead in the water, like uh, not do anything that turn kind of deal. Okay, and goes for the ETC. Traditionally speaking, that should not be helping him. He's probably gonna grab the the one that shuffles his hand back and draws the same amount of cards. Okay. Let's play one mana fracking. Get end game. He probably picked Brawl, by the way. So uh, we're not gonna overcommit too much on this board. No. Um, use location on the 6-6 six, six and kill the 4-4 four, four like that. I wonder. But do we really want to do any much of else of anything? I think you just pass. I mean, go face with the six, obviously. Oh, but yeah, yeah, sure. We don't really need to do much else. Maybe we could have Drain Sold and Hero Power on his ETC first, but I don't know. Doesn't sound like we needed it. This guy is Highlander, so next turn that could be happening. Or Bran? Well, I mean, Bran is not that big a deal for us. Okay. It's acceptable. Well, wheel time. Ooh. If we did not have the Symphony of Sin, we could have considered actually not doing anything else this turn, but since you have it, I think. I mean, actually, it's an empty board. Let's just pass, honestly. <coughs> it's not worth it, uh, dropping 30-30 uh, just to get Bladestorm or Reno right now. Mm -hmm. no. We'd rather buy ourselves a turn with it. If there was something to rush into, sure, but with nothing on the board, no reason to risk on a simple, measly Bladestorm. What the fuck? That's what, that's what you pick in your ETC? How's that gonna help you against us? Hilarious. Put down zero mana, fan out them on the boards. And play the five mana Symphony of Sin. I think we go with the lifesteal. Not that it's important, but we don't want to be using the damage AoE right now, so go with the lifesteal. Use location on Fanotem. Kill the 6 4 with it. What else are we doing? Really don't need to be overthinking it at this point, if I gotta be completely honest, but let's just hero power first and then equip the weapon. We saw him having a Viper, but if, if that's how he wants to be spending his last few turns, so be it. Well, 
there's the arena we were talking about, but it's still fine. Wait a free mana furnace fuel. You can summon the taunt. And drain all the one one, I don't know. It's kinda not doing all that much, but if he has something like a shield slam on the six six, he can just use the one one to kill it off. That's all, no need to tap anymore because we're getting into fatigue. If we really need one of the one of the two cars left over, we can still tap next turn. Okay, that's a silly zilly. He didn't use his hero power either. Not a very smart man. We have reverb, so that's actually quite the dumb thing for him to be doing right now. Um. How many turns more we need? Two, right? So many yeah. Let's play the free mana, the top deck. Discard his top six cards. And reverb to eight seven. Sure. Um, yeah, free yeah. mana reverb the divine shields. Kill the 6 5 like that. And you can even uh, use a 2 mana defile right now because that's gonna be a full clear that way. That's about it. Uh, I mean, we could use the end game if we really felt like it, but it really doesn't matter. We just end turn next turn. Okay, well that was a grind, definitely was a lot more work than it had to be to reach Diamond 10, I can tell you that much, but the game really tried there. The opponents um, not so yeah, much, yeah. but the game really outdid itself on some of these. Yeah. Oh, Kenel. Nice, new high Lovely. score for you. Yeah, Thank you. pretty nice that we're leaving it again on a nice little rank floor for you so you can have some fun. Yeah. Uh, you can try and reach Diamond 5 on your own if you like, uh, if you just uh, keep on trying to do the things we were doing in these games, you should be there in no time. I mean, in some time, obviously, even with me, it's uh, hella slow with only one star bonus at this point. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can uh, you can try and grind it out. And uh, obviously, we can also do another session yeah. or two by the end of the month. It's totally up to you. Yeah, um, I will uh, message you. Yeah, sure thing. Well, it was a pleasure once again, Leah. Yeah. Thank you very well, much for the much business. Also, uh, thank you very much. You are so good at this game. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> thank you very much. Really appreciate yeah. you.